In today's video, I am going to be able to tell you and explain to you how you can read your defenders, how to get easy layups, and of course, how to play in the corner in basketball. So let's get down to it. Okay, so in the corner in basketball, this is a spot where either you can use it as a very good strategy if you're a coach or a player, or some coaches will just hide their worst offensive players in the corners and just try to get them out of the way of the actual main offense being ran. And while you can do this, those players who get stuck in the corner, if it is that strategy where they're just the coach is trying to get rid of you, you can actually use these, this strategy right now to be able to get yourself easy baskets and to kind of show off to your coach. So first off, let's say the ball is in the corner and I am playing defense on the guy in the corner. What you should be doing as a defender is knowing where the ball is and of course where your man is. And there's a bee around me. Anyways, so let's say the ball is up top. I should be two steps away, which is generally around here. And I should have my hand pointing at the ball and of course my hand pointing at my defender, knowing where or where my player is, knowing where my, my guy is. And if you're that player and you're just standing there, let's say for four or five, six seconds, or maybe even longer, usually the defender will get bored and he will either start looking at the ball or if the ball was swung to the other side, he's going to be kind of just looking over there saying, well, the ball's over there. My guy's doing nothing. I am not going to care what this guy does. Well, if you're that guy and you see that your defender is looking away from you, the first thing that you should be doing if you're this guy over here and your defender is now looking at you is cutting back door, which means that you're cutting towards the basket. He doesn't see what you're doing because he just is not paying attention to you. And then when you cut back door, you can literally get right next to the rim and say, pass the ball. And that is the second point that I really want to say. And that is when you're cutting towards the rim, you shouldn't be screaming out loud as soon as you start cutting, hey, pass the ball, because that's going to tell your guy that you're doing something. What you want to do is to get past your man and say, I'm open. You can clap your hands. You can say, yo, I'm open. Yo, 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 baseline, cutter, whatever. You can say something, right? And then when you're cutting back door, even if you get right here, you can call for the ball still. Because if that guy's not paying attention to you, you may call for it. He will sometimes automatically assume that you're still over there and he'll start like, oh no, where are you? And of course, now at this point, you should have an easy basket. Hopefully your teammates pass you the ball. Now, if you're playing in the corner again, and let's say you've got a player, your point guard, whoever is driving down the middle of the key. And you, let's say your man is playing good help defense, which means that he is now sinking down to actually defend that drive. That will leave you wide open. But I don't want you to sit here and say, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. And some players will actually start dancing. They'll start jumping up and down saying, yo, yo, I'm open. Well, guess what? That doesn't work because your guy who was just defending you seconds ago is going to know exactly where you are, subconsciously already knows, and as soon as you get that ball, he's going to be recovered out. What you want to do is to go from the corner to the wing. You can shuffle up and say, I'm open, because now your main defender is going to be going back out there thinking that you're still there. You're not, and you can jack that shot. But if they're playing a real help switch defense, which means that now this guy's played help, he's sagged off, the trailing defender, now his momentum is taking him this way. That's the other reason why you don't want to stay there because now his momentum has to stop and then pop back out to you because now they've switched. By moving from corner to wing on a drive can get you open and help you stay open so that you can get your shot off. I'm going to give you another secret too. Let's say the other team is running a 2-3 zone, which means that there's two guys up top and three guys along the baseline. Now. One really good option that you can have is called the Russian spot. So this is when, let's say for example, you've got the basketball in the high post. That will draw up that middle defender. You're going to be able to then move back door, which is along the baseline. And if you can get somewhere behind the backboard right here, what's gonna happen is if that high post player can fake a pass out to the wing or fake a pass somewhere and move this wing defender out here, that's going to leave you wide open. Russia did this a lot against Canada many, 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 many years ago, back like 30, 40 years ago. And that's why in Canada, a lot of the older coaches who I was coached by call that the Russian spot. 
because the Russians used to get the ball into the high post, they would fake passes out somewhere else, drop it down to a baseline player who would then just take one step and dunk the ball on us or lay it up or whatever. Never got to see any highlights. I was just told this by old coaches. So that is a few different ways that you can play in the corner. Whether you're stuck there because you're not very good offensively or if you're stuck there for a strategy that your coach runs, these are some tips that you can use to move off ball to get yourself some easy points. Make sure to go check out the hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.